Hey everyone, Al here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Well, I finally broke down and bought a second action. For my match gun that I have here, I got a Bighorn TL3 short action, uh, right-handed uh, from Zermatt Arms. And uh, I got four barrels for it and I got tired of switching barrels all the time. So I bought another action from uh, Go Big Tactical out of Prince George. Tom has a very, very good uh, store for supporting us shooters and he's also very good at supporting us. There's one of his stickers there. Go Big Tactical. Look him up online if you're in Canada. I believe he does not ship to the US. And uh, here's my action. It is a TL3A. I did talk to Go Big, Tom. And also talked to the guys at uh, Zermatt Arms and asked them if my headspace would be the same from barrel to barrel. And they assured me that it should be, they said. So I am going to... It's got the same bolt as the other one. This one's DLC coated. I believe that one is not. And then here's the action. So the tenon should be the same from their action to action. Oh, this one's actually black. That's a cool looking color actually. It's a different color, that's for sure. Well, I hope they got more screws in here. Yeah, they do. And they got trigger pins as well. Because I was looking and there's only one screw, hol one screw holding the rail on. It is a 20 MOA rail. And uh, these actions are so buttery smooth. So one thing with this is what, and what I'm going to do is I can change the bolt head. Come on. I can change the bolt head. I have an extra bolt head here for uh, 223 and that's all put on it. And then if I go to a, a great big match, I will bring two rifles. And tells you all the torque specs here. Okay. That's, that's good. It says here when, uh, when setting headspace, remove extractor. And it's easy to do. That's just this piece right here. All you do is you get a dental pick or a, a paper clip or something, push it in this hole, and inside there is a spring and a little pin that holds the extractor in. And uh, be very sh careful when you take that out that the spring doesn't go boing and go flying. So yeah, so now I supposed to be exactly the same tenon as that one. I asked two different people. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to screw on the, well, I'm going to clean the, clean and lube the oil, uh, clean oil and lube the action. It looks like it could use some cleaning. And then I will take the extractor out. Now, what I'm going to do for headspace, I'll, I'll pull the, firing pin out. That's easy. Just turn it uh, to the left or yeah, sorry, to the right. When you're holding it to turn it to the right and pull it out. And then uh, I'll take out the extractor. I'll put in a, I'm going to put in a loaded cartridge and then I'm going to put a piece of scotch tape on the back of it and it should not close. So with the loaded ammo, it should close and without the, uh, with the tape on it, it should not close. And that'll, and the tape is about a five thousandths of an inch. So that should give me five thousandths of an inch headspace. And hopefully, I talked to three different people on this, and this all should work. I got four barrels. There's a brand new proof research barrel. It was machined by Harley at Inside Arms. Does an amazing job. He does great work, guys. Really nice. And uh, I got one of his new heathen brakes, a G2 brake or something, it's called. And it is actually a tuner brake right here. So this piece here will fit on here and you just slide it up and down. He's got little witness marks on there so you can keep track of where this thing should go. And uh, so I'll have three, six Creedmoor barrels that I can put on this action, as well as this gun. This is my old six Creed. It's about 1900 rounds through it. Still produces one whole groups, which is crazy. And I got two brand new ones of these and then my 223. So I want to put my 223 on here for now. I need to practice more. I got another ACC Elite, as you've seen, that was in the 6.5 now. That's coming out. 
gonna put the scope off the 6.5 on this and uh, the trigger from the 6.5 in this. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that now, but actually I'm kind of curious. I might clean this, put the barrel on and check the headspace just for a peace of mind. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. And I'll keep you guys posted on this, but here are the Zerman Arms uh, Bighorn TL3 Action. And this is DL coated, I believe. Very, very, very smooth action. Guys have actually come up to me at matches and say, what action are you running? Because it looks like you're doing it effortlessly. And really, I, I am. So, on that note, I am going to get the barrel put on. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so I got the action put on. I got the bolt face I want on here, which is a 223. I took out the extractor. And I do have the firing pin in now, but I had the firing pin out. And to take that out, make sure you face that away from me and you turn it to the right. If you turn it the other way, you're going to lock it and it's a real pain. There's tricks to get it. But the action's on. I put a live round in. I'm not going to do that here, but I did that without the firing pin in. So it was fully safe to do. And the bolt closed just like that. So I put it... One piece of tape was one and a half thou. I put two pieces of tape together, which was three thousandths, and it would go down to about there, and with a little bit of force, I could force it down. I put three pieces of tape. That equaled about uh, five thou, four and a half thou, and it would not close at all. So I talked to my gunsmith, and he said, I'm golden, I'm perfect. So that's going to work for me. So... Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this thing together. I'm not going to do it tonight. I got too much to do. I still got to get a workout in. Yes, I got to try and stay in shape for um, shooting and hunting and all that kind of stuff. And I haven't worked out for a week. I took all last week off just because, uh, anyways, who cares? So next week I will put this gun together and we will take it out and shoot it. And that'll be hopefully on Friday. And uh, yeah, my 223 barrel. And... All these other barrels here will fit in as well, the six mils. And uh, all I gotta do is put this bolt face back in, which is the one that came with this new action. And this is the uh, 308 bolt face, which is good for six mil, just a lot of different calibers. So anyway, stay tuned everybody. We'll get this gun together and then we'll go see how it shoots and I'll get that all on video and I'll take you guys with me. So for now, ciao. Okay, everyone, here I am back at the range. I got the 223 barrel installed in the new TL3 action. It's in an ACC Elite. And for now, it has a Vortex Gen 2 Razor in there until Apex gets their new Rival X in stock. And then I'll be putting a Rival on here. So I don't know where I left off with you guys last time, but buttery smooth action. I checked the headspace with tape. It closes easy with one and a half thou. It closes half with three thou and with five thou, it doesn't close or four and a half thou, it doesn't close. So I talked to my gunsmith and he said that uh, I will be good. One thing with the uh, Zerman arms is when they uh, do their threading, it's not consistent. Their tenon is consistent. That's why the writing up here is a little off because it's not the same as they didn't start the threads in the same place. I think there's a couple actions that do, uh, I'll say the impact action and possibly defiance maybe, but this is gonna work out just fine. I'll show you guys the first shots. Uh, I didn't zero it or anything. I haven't even shot it yet, but first I'm gonna shoot, first, first I'm gonna shoot my 6.5 Creed more, or sorry, my six Creed. And uh, I got a big match next weekend. So I'm gonna take some shots, follow the barrel because I cleaned it. And then uh, I'll shoot it on paper, make sure it's zeroed good. And then I'll take you guys along the first shots with the 223 Wild with the new Zermatt Arms Bighorn TL3 action. Uh, and we'll see how good the tenon is compared from action to action, as this barrel was actually machined for a different, a different TL3 action. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna aim at the center of my target. 
Okay, here we go. First shot with the new action with a barrel that wasn't machined for it, but uh, they say that the headspace will be the same from action to action with the TL3 Zermatt Arms Bighorn action. So here we go. And it opened like butter. Everything looks great. I don't think I hit the target, but uh, I should have bore sighted it first. And I'm gonna do that right now, but I just wanted to make sure that she was not gonna blow up in my face and she's all good. So uh, if you're looking for a good action that has the same tenon from barrel to barrel, the Bighorn TL3 I just proved on the 223 barrel anyways, that it is true and it's good. So I'm gonna re-zero this gun, bore sight it, and then get a good zero on it and then have some fun with it. Take care. Okay, everyone, gun is all put together, shooting good, zeroed, and uh, it shoots nice and feeds nice. I'm gonna shoot 457 meters at a fish. Ooh, that really throws it. So anyways, that's the Bighorn TL3 action with a barrel machined by Inside Arms. That was for my other Big, uh, Bighorn TL3 action. And they just, uh, they go back and forth, which is perfect. Now I got three barrels for my six mil. I got this barrel. So when I go away on a long uh, big match, I can bring two six mils and uh, I can always have my practice barrel on on this gun. So yeah, so if you're looking at getting a couple actions that are the same that you can interchange barrels with at the same tenon, Bighorn TL3 actions, Zermit Arms TL3s, they are, as they say are, they are, and they're interchangeable, same tenon. So, uh, and that is that. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of the future content. And uh, Tomorrow I think I'm going bear hunting. So uh, stay tuned for that. Take care everyone and be safe.